What's going on everybody, Resale Rabbit here. So a couple of things, it's Monday. If you remember Friday, I sold three pieces of medical equipment for somewhere in the range of two grand. Uh, I think it was a little over, it was a thousand plus shipping, 750 plus shipping and 300. I uh, just got this back from the packing and shipping store. Uh, they got it all ready for me. It cost me 88 bucks for all three of them. And then they put the post-its I had them on top so I know what is what box uh 88 bucks keep in mind i would have spent probably about 15 give or take just in materials this is their boxes their uh bubble wrap whatever they have in it and then i saved myself probably a good hour's worth of work by uh, not having to do it myself and then i dropped it off on my way home because i drove right past them on the way home dropped it off on the way home picked it up on the way into work this morning so I'm gonna get that shipped out. The reason I was more than willing to do that also is because I've got so much money or so little money invested in it. The profit was huge. I mentioned, is there someone outside? There's someone outside, a truck. I don't know. Anyways, I mentioned that um, my cost and all of that was like 25 to 50 bucks. So I've got, who is that? Oh, customer. So anyways, I've got so little invested in, into it, I've got the room to do that. All right, now that that's taken care of. Now the second thing, I almost left a ton of money on the table. So let me show you. These two pallets are just about all that's left of Office Depot for the most part. Um, I manifested them. And there's a, there was a third one too, which is still here. It's now depalletized, but I'll explain that in a minute. So I, I manifested them. I put this spreadsheet as a, a web link so you can, so buyers can see it. I post it on the JLN page, uh, put some of these sheet protectors on. And it's just full of, of random stuff. Like what's in here? These binders. Uh, this might be binders too. No, this is push pins and uh, this is pencil cups. So all sorts of Office Depot stuff. There were two dead items that are very heavy on all three of these. If you look here, uh, the these French curve sets, I've got 500 on this pallet. And then the binders, I've got 285. All in, those French curves, I've got somewhere around 12, 13, 14, 1500 pieces. And you know, when I got them, I looked them up on eBay, looked them up on Amazon, didn't really see much. I've also got, uh, I think like 2800 of those binders. There's 1900 on this pallet alone. So I was trying to sell these three pallets at 10% of retail and these at 5% of retail, my cost. Uh, could not find anybody to take them. So I dropped these to 5% of retail, my cost. Mind you, 5% of retail on all three, these two and then the third one is about $6,000. And then this, I dropped to 2.5% of retail which came out to like 500 bucks. So I'm taking a $500 loss on this and breaking even on all that, which is okay because I'm making a ton of money on the Office Depot. I've already made a ton of money. I'm estimating somewhere in the range of $40,000 from my $10,000 investment, which is amazing. I can't wait until I buy another one. Anyways, so I decided to do a little bit more research now. Um, the binders and the French curves. Let me see if I can find a French curve, show you what it looks like. They might all be in the lower boxes. Yeah, they're all down down here so I don't have any to pull out and show you. So anyways, the binders and the French curves, you look them up by the barcode, it's either a really bad listing or no listing at all comes up. I end up finding them by manually searching what they are. The same model number, so basically the product and the SKU or model number and I found them both on Amazon. I re I'm really glad these didn't sell. <laughs> so the French curves have, it looks like a decent rank and like, 60, 80, 100 something reviews. They seem to be selling all right. And you get like four bucks after fees. It's a total of about $6,000. I think it was 5,900 almost exactly when I t added it all up. If they all sell and at the current price. The binders, it was like two, three bucks, something like that after fees. It's got 14 reviews. Tough to say if it's moving or not. Both had okay looking ranks. Um, that ended up being like $9,000. So grand total, just with those two SKUs, is 16 grand. I was gonna sell it for basically a small loss at 6,500 and no, no takers. 
that includes those and all of this other stuff, the, the push pins I showed you, the pencil cups, there's crayons, there's tape. Uh, there's probably 3,000 rolls of tape on these three pallets too. I listed, I sent 10 French curves and 10 binders to Amazon uh, just as a test run to see how they do. I also found a listing for these, so I sent in like 30 of those too to see how they do. I don't want to load up with a thousand French curves and find out they're selling one a week because that uh, would, would really suck. Um, storage fees and then 50 cents per unit to have them return to me. So I sent in 10 of each SKU, the binders and the French curves. We'll see how they turn out. We'll see how they look on Amazon. If they sell well, um, I'm just gonna pull them. What is this little guy? Looks like a fly, there you go. So I'm just gonna pull them from JLN and um, sell them on Amazon if that's the case. Now, outside of Amazon, both of those are basically worthless, which is why I was going so low. The other inventory is actually pretty good. So I'm probably going to bump that back up, repalletize it, just the good stuff now, well, what we thought was the only good stuff, and bump it up to 10% again and try and move it that way. But that's the plan. So the third thing is I bought a bunch of remotes. Do you remember those boxes of VCRs and VCR-DVD combos that I had someone prep for me? test for me they're all ready to go just need remotes so i ordered remotes i got like six of them i've been waiting for this to happen i'm surprised it took this long for it to happen but i got a message you know over all of the hundreds possibly thousands of remotes that i've ordered over the years um this has never happened until now i got a message from a seller who sold the remote to me she said she's a viewer so her name is Amy. Amy, I appreciate the sale. Usually I'm thanking viewers for the purchase. I appreciate the sale. Um, I, you know, remotes are something that thrift store people, they buy them in thrift stores, they sell them online and I'm constantly buying them. I'm really surprised it took this long for me to accident, accidentally, I didn't intentionally buy it from a viewer, but to get it from a viewer, very surprising. Anyways, so I just wanted to mention that, kind of amusing. Uh, lastly, it is now 10, just before 10.30 at one o'clock, I've got 14 pallets of Amazon, or I'm sorry, 14 pallets of Walgreens overstock coming. And I've got another 40-ish pallets coming Thursday. I still don't know where I'm putting those. I think I can get the, the uh, Walgreens stuff in. It's actually 13 and a half pallets, so he might have condensed it down to 13. I'm not sure. Um, but it cost me, oh, I still haven't even paid for it yet. Uh, the uh, owner of the company is actually delivering it. So I'm cutting him a check. I just picked up a check from my accountant's office. We're ready to give him that, but it's like 3,900, something like that. It's mostly summer clearance, uh, but we're gonna move a lot of this in our next sale, our next warehouse sale. And we're gonna hold on to a lot of it for next summer where those pallets are easily gonna be worth a thousand each. I think I paid like 250 or 300 each. You do the math. Um, but anyways, I'll be holding on to, I'm not gonna hold on to all of it because it's space, but I'm excited for that. Well, what else, this pallet of books I'm gonna relist. Um, no one was interested at 50 cents a book. I'm gonna drop the price a little bit, but I did look up a couple of them and a couple of these are actually decent on Amazon. Now I'm not gonna send them in because I want this whole pallet gone. So I'm gonna relist it with some screenshots of, um, yeah, the Amazon seller app. I'm going to look some of them up so people can see it. Um, and they're also getting all of those for free. Those are the ones that didn't sell in the dollar sale. Uh, so they're getting those for free. I'm hoping I can sell this pallet of shoes and I've got a pallet of clothing here. I don't know why. I'm struggling to sell this. Going rate right on this stuff is about a buck seventy-five per. I'm down to a buck fifteen. I think it's just because it's summer stuff and people aren't really doing a lot of clothing this time of year. I think I'll move a lot of it in the sale and might just hold on to the rest. I, I really don't know. Uh, I've got the shoes at two bucks. This is count. I counted this out. I mean, look at this. $34.99. These are some nice boots right here. $36.99. $24.99. Let's see. $15.99. You're telling me you can't make money on these at with shipping $2.50 a pair. Man, I wish I had a store. I would. So when I had my store, clothing, I didn't get a lot of shoes. So I can't say for shoes, but clothing was my best seller. I, I was selling it for three to five bucks per piece. And it was all Target stuff just like that. And it would fly out the door. I could not keep it stocked. 
it was my top seller. If I ever reopened my store, I would consider doing it clothing only. Absolutely nothing else, just clothing and shoes and accessories. Anyways, that's enough rambling. Let's get some stuff done. Oh, one more thing. These uh, binders, if they sell well enough, there's 1900 on this pallet. I may send the whole pallet to Amazon. They're all case packed. I might just pay Amazon to do the labeling because uh, that's 1900 labels and 1900 things I have to label. I think they charge, what, 30 cents each, something like that. I've had them do it, do my labeling before, but it's not too often. It would be nice to get this pallet out of here. And then these, I think I've got two of these boxes of French curves and a handful of these boxes of binders on each. So we could get these, probably can tape, pull those, and then condense the rest into one pallet. Um, and if you look, the binders and the French curves are most of the cost up here, $420 for 500 French curves and 245 for the binders everything else is a lot cheaper so um you know that's going to drop this pallet down to well it's 1494 you're going to drop uh 425 620 six, 665 dollars off uh by taking those off so that'll probably make this sell pretty fast i hope i mean this liquidation market is so unpredictable stuff that i thought was overpriced stuff that i thought was junk like those usb cables or those red bags, those sold like really fast. Whereas, and the poly mailers sold almost instantly. Um, whereas stuff that I think is really good, like these auto parts and these clothes just sit. So I, I don't know, I, I give up trying to figure it out. All right, so we've kind of cleared it out up here. Um, these two I'm keeping up front, the books and the auto parts. This is where I wish I had a forklift or pallet stacker because I could stack these easily. Um, but I just don't have room to even store one of those. But anyways, these are kept, being kept up front because I'm hoping to have them sold today. Uh, maybe tomorrow. We're going to put, if it's on 13 pallets, um, each of these sections of shelves, that's eight foot sections. A pallet is 48 inches long. So we'll get two, four, six, eight, ten. We'll do two layers here, 12 and then 13. So it's gonna be a little tight coming through here, especially with this pallet here. It'll be 40 inches across, so 80 inches for two pallets. Um, it's probably gonna put us to out here. We're gonna have like a three foot gap to walk through, but it's not, it's not much we can do about it. Move some stuff over here. Uh, those Office Depot pallets I showed you, this is apparel. And then that, that is a mess. Now these pallets are coming on a roll-up trailer, meaning like a trailer, like a regular trailer on a pickup truck where the door folds down, you roll them off the door. Um, the owner of the company is actually delivering them with his truck. He's a few hours away. He left at eight this morning. Uh, it's currently quarter to noon, so he'll be here in about an hour. Um, he saved me about a hundred bucks in shipping by doing that. And uh, I don't know if Maybe he had something going on here. Personally, I paid him 650 bucks to deliver it. Uh, he's probably gonna end up spending 100 to 200 in gas because he is pulling a heavy trailer here and pulling a trailer that isn't very aerodynamic, I would assume, back. So personally, I, I don't know if I would deliver him like that for 550 bucks, take up a full, probably 12 hour day driving, but, uh, or 450. Yeah, 450 after paying for gas. I wouldn't. Nonetheless, I'm excited to get those in and we've got space for them. Don't know what I'm gonna do for Thursday. Today's Monday, Thursday is when the other, it's 38 more pallets coming, although they will be double stacked, as many as can be. Don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I really don't. Um, it's supposed to snow on Thursday too, which also makes it difficult. Hopefully it's clear in the morning. And then we'll just wheel them all outside and then shove them in the loading dock or something. I have no idea. I should be able to condense these Walgreens pallets down to nine uh, at the most. Because there are, the product is coming in boxes. There are two boxes per pallet. So they're large boxes, like a small Gaylord basically. Two boxes per pallet. I should be able to stack a third on top, I'm assuming. So it's 27 boxes total. It'll get me to nine pallets. So that'll take a couple off the floor. And maybe I can try and sell. I'm probably going to post a couple of them in the uh, JLN page just to try and move them quickly, make a little space. We'll see. I have no idea. I really don't. 
Now, even though we're not using the loading dock, I gotta get this side moved because I do have a semi coming uh, with one pallet on it today. That one pallet is not part of the 52 total that I ordered. This is something separate. I bought this on eBay. It's a pallet jack with a scale built in so I can actually weigh these pallets. What I've been doing is weighing each box at a time and then adding it up at the end. I'll weigh the empty pallet, which is usually like 30, 40 pounds. Then I'll weigh box by box by box. That sucks, especially with those books that I did because I was just stacking books on a scale or like this pallet of shoes right here. I was literally just filling, well, they came in boxes originally. I put the box on the scale, weigh it, dump them in there and then weigh the box to get the weight of the shoes without the box. This one also sucked. These auto parts, I basically just stacked them on the, or on the scale. It's terrible. So by having this, it's probably gonna save me a good 20 minutes on every single pallet, minimum on every single pallet that I put together because I just stack the pallet and then I can weigh it. They make platform scales, which is what most people use. It's just a giant like six by six foot scale and you set a pallet on it. Thing is you need a forklift to lift the pallet onto it or you need a ramp to go off the edge so you can wheel it up. Even with that, it's they're usually made of diamond plate. So wheeling a thousand pound pallet up about four inches onto that scale it's gonna suck and it might be a two person job. Also the ramp, which is also gonna be very heavy, you can't just move it, that's gonna hang off on the side. So now I need to basically clear up over two pallet spaces for it. And as you can see, we're tight on space. It's not hard to block things in. So the idea by having the pallet jack scale is I can bring the scale to the pallet if I need to, because I got it so cheap too. Brand new, it was like 740 bucks. That is so cheap. On Uline, they're like 1700 plus shipping. Uh, this one came out of California. Um, so it's coming today. Uh, I forgot what my point was. Oh, yeah. Um, the little bit, 740 bucks, that'll pay for itself in time saved in like a week. Um, so I'm excited about that. But because it is, that's expensive for a pallet jack, 740 bucks. My pallet jacks are brand new. I paid 220 bucks a piece for them. And then a used one, I paid like, I don't know, 80 bucks, something like that from Toys R Us. So I don't wanna use this $740 pallet jack to unload trucks. I'm literally only gonna use it to weigh pallets. So, and, and as far as space, it doesn't even take up pallet space because I can put it in a pallet. So it just makes a pallet space like 12 inches longer for one, not a big deal. So I'm excited about this thing. I've also got, here, let me show you this. Never mind, you can't really see it. That pallet, let me go around. All right, it looks a lot messier. Most of these are empty boxes from when I was going through this clothing. So that pallet there, stack of boxes behind the pallet that would basically make up a pallet. This pallet and this pallet are all used clothing. It's just, oh, it's just Gaylord boxes full of used clothing. Uh, they came out of a storage unit, out of one storage unit. I bought it October 23rd, I think. Um, it is currently October, uh, hold on, October 28th. Here's the thing though, I bought it October 23rd of 2017. It's been two years now. This unit was amazing. It was mostly clothing, but it was all sorted, priced, and all brand name-ish. So I had another customer show up at the door. I, I lost my train of thought. Uh, the pallets of clothing got them two years ago. The storage unit, oh yeah, it was all priced, it was brand name. It wasn't like really good brand name, it was like Hollister and American Eagle. Stuff that people think is brand name, that people think is expensive. Um, it's not, at least not in the secondhand market. But it did so well in the dollar sales. And I had two dollar sales with it. I had, there were like 20 some thousand pieces of clothing in that unit. I moved a lot of it in two dollar sales. Um, I would literally put these Gaylords outside. I'd have a bunch of stuff hanging up, but then I'd have like three Gaylords outside and people would dig through it and buy up a bunch of it. And then what was left, I would just sell Facebook Marketplace, 25 bucks a pallet, come get it out of my hair. Well, I still have these two years later because it got to the point where I had so much stuff for dollar sales that I didn't even have room for that. Um, and it's such good stuff that I wanted to sit on it. I don't have room to sit on this stuff. I need to clear this stuff out and I kind of decided I'm not doing pre-owned stuff in dollar sales anymore. So, you know, just new stuff and we're doing things a little differently. So I want to just get rid of it. So once I can get them out of there, 
I'm gonna sell them on the JLM distributing page. I don't know what I'm gonna sell them for, two, three, 500 bucks a pallet, something like that. Uh, completely unsearched, uninspected. You know, we haven't gone through it. It hasn't been picked through. Um, I believe apparel like that usually sells for about 30 to 35 cents a pound um, in full truckload quantities. This is definitely not a full truckload, it's four pallets. So I don't know, maybe I'll stick around that 30 to 40 cents a pound. Anyways, um, I can't weigh that without a scale because it's all, it looks like this, just like the shoes where it's just loose and I'm not gonna empty it all out, box it up and weigh the boxes. So my only option is to weigh the whole pallet is one. That's another reason why I haven't really touched them. So uh, my neighbor does have a scale and a forklift. So if I really needed to, I could convince him to weigh them, but that would be a big pain. I need to bring him next door and uh, pay him a few bucks to pull out his forklift and weigh them all. It's just not worth it. Now, I don't need to do any of that because I have a scale coming and I can weigh it with that scale. So I guess that's my long-winded explanation on why I'm excited about having this scale. I actually bought another one a few days beforehand for like 950. Seller said they're out of stock, they won't have it for another 60 days and asked me if I wanted to wait. I said, no, I uh, got a refund and bought this one instead. Well, I should say I bought this one instead and then got a refund because they were a little slow on that. But anyways, um, so that's what I'm waiting for right now. I'm just kind of hanging out. Uh, I don't have a lot of stuff to do that can occupy like an hour's time. It's either something where I'm gonna sit down and focus for several hours or just kick around the, the can and wait. So that's kind of what we're doing now. So I went outside to, yeah, I'm not putting my seatbelt on a circle of the parking lot. I went outside to proactively get that sign out of the loading dock. And as I walked out the door, there was the driver for uh, the pallet jack. It's here, so good timing. He's uh, turning his truck around and he's coming to pull it in. And he's a viewer. First thing he said to me is, are you resale rabbit? It's the second time a driver has been a viewer. So that's pretty neat. Uh, so I'm excited to uh, get this pallet jack in. And I'm glad it's here before the product from Walgreens. And I actually got a voice message from the uh, guy bringing it. Let's see what he says. GPS is showing 1240 as of right now. I don't know how well you heard that, but GPS is showing 1240, he said, and it's currently 1208. So he's over there now i don't know if he has a delivery for them as well or if he went into their lot to try and turn around uh, that's not good because they don't really have a turnaround in their lot he would have been better pulling out into my parking lot and turning around in the back of the building so it looks like he was just trying to turn around that lot oh he's he's backing out of it now poor choice on his part uh, not that he would have known or anything but uh my lot he could have pulled into the back of the building there's plenty of space for a semi to turn around that one there is not so hopefully it's not too difficult for him to pull out i've never seen a semi in that lot before oh, busy i hear the beeping i've never seen a semi in that lot before but i have seen you know they have box trucks in and out of there all the time okay i hear the beeping i don't see his truck i still hear the beeping oh there he is You know, this happens a lot where drivers don't know where to go. We should really probably put a sign up or something that says you can turn around in the back of the building because there is space. And here it is. They crated it. I was not expecting that, but uh, looks like it got a little dusty on there. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. I was expecting to have to assemble it. So now I get to do that.
I feel like I work at a museum opening this crate. So I've never opened a crate before. I didn't realize, look at that. What in the world happened here? How did I just now see that? I don't recall hitting that. Anyways, I didn't realize it's held together with screws. That would have been much easier than uh, banging this thing apart. Okay, maybe I do need to pry this part off because I don't see any screws holding these top pieces on. But it looks like I can just pull it right off like Captain Superman. I seriously don't remember these. I wonder if something was sitting on it and damaged it. I'm gonna have to look back at the video because I don't remember seeing all this damage on there. Not that it really matters. So I'm really screwing this up miserably. Um, it's tough to swing a hammer in there without damaging, I suppose. Oh, that's why. There's a screw hidden under here. There, now that that's out, much easier. Although not so easy when I'm doing this with one hand trying to film. All right, let's get this out. This is probably gonna be the handle and the opening instructions because I don't like reading instructions. I, I don't think there are opening instructions. It just says not to pull the pin, which all pallet jacks basically say that. I wonder how heavy this thing is. Well, I suppose I can pull these off. This isn't working. Alright, that wasn't so bad. Now let's get this cardboard off. I think all I have to do is put the handle on. I don't think that'll be too bad. Well, I got this half opened up and the stuff is here. That is a big trailer. I need to give me one of those. Alright, this is all put together. This thing was not fun to try and figure out. But uh, it works. We spent like two hours trying to get it. Could not get it working. It lifts up, I suppose, to demonstrate I should turn it on first. Let's get the little reed out there. Can take this off. It just runs on AA batteries. There is nothing that needs to be charged. I put three AA batteries in it. And then lift the pallet up off the ground. And there you go, 967 pounds. Which is weird because I weighed it earlier and it was 971. But uh, maybe there was something sitting on top of it or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. Well, what I'll probably end up doing is adding like 10 pounds of these just to be on the safe side. But uh, you just pop the batteries. Oh, I can't get that off. Anyway, batteries go in there. You get the idea. And then it just lowers down. Back to zero. Easy peasy. And then here's the Walgreens stuff. Ignore this a little bit in the front. Um, it's heavy in summer clearances. A lot of these shoes um, should be okay for the sale. That, that's what we're doing here, the warehouse sale. We saw a $15 price tag. These are going to be tougher. Uh, but the ones I tried to sell were like this, and they were an ugly color. Maybe the ones with the print designs will sell better. Obviously, this stuff is going to sell much better in the summertime. And I'll be holding a lot of it for the summer, like this cooling towel. 
I've actually wanted one of these for a long time. I might uh, take this home. And there's the heater. Stuff like this, even though it's off season, I mean, stuff like this is going to sell for two, three dollars in the sale. Uh, some apparel, some, what is this? Some sort of swimwear. Uh, swim trainer, light up flag. This is all new stuff, although that looks open. Obviously, some of it's going to be opened by customers in the store, but USB powered fan. Interesting. Composition notebooks. This is their summer clearance. This one has a lot of sandals in it. Uh, a lot of this type of stuff. Floaties. Uh, let's. This one looked to be interesting. Now I can't really get to it because the stuff's in front of it. So I, I shouldn't say interesting. There's food in here. When I was a kid, I worked at Kmart. I ate these all the time, but they're, they're so expensive. It was like three bucks for this little bit of food. And it's in date until for another little over a year. We've got uh, tampons, uh, leggings, swim maskins, uh, bouncy balls. The nice part here is all this apparel is already on hangers. So we'll just hang them right up and they'll be ready to go in the sale. Um, but seeing this uh, health and beauty aid stuff tells me there's gonna be more of that in here. I am probably gonna just eat this. Uh, but these are double stacked in height. So it's two large boxes on each one. To condense space a little bit, I'm going to stack them three boxes high which is gonna kinda suck, but um, you know, we need space, so. A lot of uh, pool floaties and looks like some beach stuff. It's not exciting stuff, but look how much volume is in these. And they were, I believe, 200 or 250 bucks a skid. I think I'm gonna do really well in the sale. Uh, we're gonna start everything at three, drop it to two the next day, drop it to one, then drop it to 50 cents. Try and sell as much of this as we can. Oh, here you go, some Nerf darts. Odds and ends. I find this amusing. I've already got 400 of those. Uh, underneath here, I see some boxes. Looks like some air mats. You can kind of see there. I already sold two of them, two of those air mats for six bucks total. Uh, they were Pop-Tart air mats. Uh, we've got some life jackets. It's out of season, but it's good stuff. Um, you know, we're gonna do really well with this stuff, I think. And what's left over, I'll hold on to until next spring and sell it off, and that I'll easily be able to sell it in the springtime. So that's kind of where we're at here. I've got about two and a half days to make space for 38 more pallets. Some will be double stacked. It'll be like 26 pallet spaces few items here. I'm not going to show you everything. It's an outdoor scented candle. Uh, we've got coffee mugs. Helpful husband's drink markers. Uh, what is this? Oh, party lights. Uh, shavers. These will do well. I'm sure we'll find a decent amount of those. What is this? Looks like a fan. It's a dead battery or dying battery. We've got paper. Another one of these outdoor candles. Uh, no price on them, but these are probably like 10, 15 bucks each in the store, I'd imagine. A couple of silicone wine glasses. Ooh, what is this? Uh, graduation autograph hound with a marker, it looks like, or a pen. Uh, we got a travel mug, no lid. But I don't know if there's supposed to be a lid. A little bit more apparel here. Oh, we're losing stuff. Hold on, I need two hands to untang. Oh, maybe not. Uh, some shoes, some more of these sandals. Uh, coffee mugs. It's like another coffee mug with uh, garden markers in it. Some nicer sandals in here. They're not all really crappy ones. More of these razors. So we got another bag of razors. Oh, I hear broken glass. Some pens, or is that mechanical pencils? 
Those did really well in the last sale. And whatever. Oh, whoops. Uh, Rebag those. Looks like a uh, little decorative artificial plant broke in here. It's a shame because that probably would have sold pretty well. And that looks like about it in here. So I think we're going to do really well with this stuff. This box alone will probably net me, what, 30, 40 bucks? Maybe. Maybe more, maybe less. I have no idea. Um, and there's basically six boxes in each big box and two big boxes. So if we do that math here, 40 bucks times, how many did I say? 12 total boxes. 40 times 12 is 480, which has me doubling my money. And I have a feeling some of these are going to have a really high count in them where I'll do even better. Uh, you know, it's not pallets I'm going to retire on, but uh, it would be good bread and butter items and a good variety to put in the uh, sale. You know, like this box, I'm probably not going to make that much on. Probably not going to get 40. Uh, but however, this one seems to have a lot of stuff in it. You never know. Some might pay a buck or two for these. Hey, we're 10 in the store. All right, I'm gonna dig a little bit more. Um, ooh, what is this? Oh, reaching in here. Oh, a little less exciting than I thought. Just all sorts of stuff. Office supplies and swimming stuff. And I have no idea what's even in those. Um, I can kind of, well, kind of see in this one, uh, looks like more swimming stuff, uh, some paddle boards and whatnot. So I found one that works. Isn't that neat? It looks a lot better in person. Like it looks actually legit in person, not all flashy and blinky. We're gonna make a bag set here. I'm finding a lot more office supplies. Uh, a couple of these uh, gift pens for teachers. More office supplies, correction tape. Uh, more, a lot of this paper. This is the type of stuff that uh, all the trolls say is garbage. It's not garbage, it's just not, you know, a pallet full of iPads like they're expecting. This is the type of bread and butter stuff that sells. Might not sell on eBay, but it sells. I don't know, what was this? Eraser, I think? Sticky eraser. Uh, here's some socks. This type, I mean, this is the type of stuff that does really well in uh, warehouse sales. I would have liked there to be, oh, I gotta hide this from my girlfriend. She is not gonna let me sell that. Um, what was I just saying now? I would have liked there to be less uh, seasonal and more GM, but for what I paid for this, honestly, it's not that big of a deal. So I'm just kind of sorting it here. We've got crappy shoes, not crappy shoes, clothing that isn't on hooks or hangers, clothing that is on hangers. And I'm trying to put like non-summer stuff in there. This is going to sell. It'll be probably one of the first things to sell at three bucks in the sale. Uh, what else did I toss in here? Here, a solar powered light up cactus. I mean, I'm just, I'm really excited about this stuff. There's some of it that, you know, I'm not happy that there's as much summer stuff. Um, you know, I don't mind having the money tied up until next summer, but I don't have the space to hold, you know, four pallets until next summer. But, um, you never know. Maybe we can move some of it in this sale. I honestly have no idea what to expect uh, going into this, this sale. We have some picture frames. Oh, Dr. Seuss picture frame of all things. That's Does that come off? No, apparently that copyright and not a toy and all of that is part of the picture frame. That's odd. Don't know who designed that. We got a few of them here. Uh, decorative stone. Let's see, cement stepping stone. 
I kind of wish this stuff all had price tags on it so I could see what it's going for. Here's some uh, teacher. I thought it was ashtrays at first. It's just chipped. Uh, yeah, get your teacher an ashtray. Oh, so little dishes. What is this? Uh, try me. Little garden lights. Those will do well. A lot of these little plants. And you know what? This is... I don't know what's leaking on here. Um, this is the type of time of year to sell this stuff. A lot of You might think a lot of people want this in the summertime, but in the summertime, you look outside and you see plants. I'm going to throw this away. Shame, it's Dr. Seuss. Uh, you know, in the summertime, you look outside and you see plants. In the wintertime, you start to miss the plants. There, that one works. Or I shouldn't say works. It's not broken, is what I mean. I just found what might be the best thing in here. More little plants. This would be uh, a duplicate of the one that broke. Well, it might have had a different plant in it. I think that was the one. So I'm putting like the summer swimming type stuff in the in this box. Uh, in here is a couple more of these insulating mugs. These are kind of nice. Probably the same thing as a Yeti, just not Yeti brand. This one doesn't have the tag on it. There you go, travel mug. Again, no price, but I'd imagine they were probably selling this for about 10 bucks. Ton of these glass beverages. I don't know why I'm putting these in here. That's the opposite of what I said I was gonna do. There you go. Uh, some different thermoses and insulated mugs. More cactus. I wonder if Walgreens had a big cactus thing going on or if this came out of the southwest. Some of these wooden decorative signs. Some good stuff in here. Here's something. Uh, I don't even know. There's another style here. If I'm going to want to put these in the sale for three bucks. This is pretty beat up. Uh, here's a bigger plant but more fake looking and uh here's some more down here what are these what would you like a mermaid to do predict a pen looks like we can try it out pose on a rock crash a ship so i guess this is what you want mermaids to do interesting all right so we got a few of those. These fake plants, I'm telling you, they do really well. Uh, looks like this package busted open, so they bagged it. Kind of went through most of this, the top portion of this palette. Found a couple of these, the, uh, the material where you can change the color. I hate this material, but um, they're notebooks, anyways. Uh, let's see, licorice, I wish. Uh, more paper, another mug. That one's just a cheap plastic one though. Uh, Jack's game that's missing the ball. Is this a jump rope? Looks like it must light up. Uh, battery must be dead, and it's covered in, it smells like shampoo or something. Must have leaked on it. So that's pretty much it for this one. But remember, this isn't the whole palette. That's just down to here. We got a whole nother box down below it. So I'm going to get this straightened up here. So I'm kind of sorting stuff here. The different types of shoes. This is the second box I filled up with those. Uh, let's see, this is just random general merchandise. Uh, these were all boxed up like that. Got mugs here. What else? I think there's some clothes hanging up. Uh, I have to box this stuff up and then the swimming type stuff. You know what? I think I tossed those in the box of clothes. The stuff I think is gonna do, especially this type of stuff is office supplies, school supplies. These are the better shoes, basically the ones that aren't those styrofoam flip-flops. There's some nicer looking ones in here. 
They have a little more weight to them. They were, they were probably, what was it, like 15 bucks, I think, in the store. Yeah, 15 bucks uh, compared to these for four. So we got this one emptied out. There's some stuff on top that I was initially going through, but we're sorted here. This is all paper. This is now the third box of these cheaper shoes. Clothing that doesn't have hangers, the nicer shoes. Uh, this is all like summer swim type stuff. General merchandise, that one's general merchandise. The mugs and cups. Oh, got another mug. And then those. there's the other shoes. So really, it's just this in that palette for the summer you know, swimming type stuff. That's not too bad. Let's see what's in the bottom one. And here we go. You know, these things are gonna do great. Oh, I missed the tape going across them for some reason, even though there was a lid. These are gonna do great come spring. I'm gonna try and sell them now, but look at this. A giant inflatable llama. Uh, let's see, what is this? An uh, air pump for like an air bed. A lot of these cheap dry erase markers. What is this now? Just a notebook, I guess. Yeah, just notes. I had uh, a lot of these that were planners, um, but the planners are actually sellable. They're July of this year to June of next year. So there's still like eight months left in them. What is this? Sugar cones. So ice cream cones. What about this? Another inflatable. This one's a Mickey Mouse one. Ooh, this'll do well. Health and personal care type items. See, this is why, you know, if I just shoved all this in a storage unit, it'd be worthwhile. I could double stack this and get all of it in a storage unit, no problem, and just sit on it for six months. It would cost me, what, four or 500 bucks problem is I would need to go through in advance because a non-heated storage unit this would freeze and then when it thaws it would leak all over everything so you need to go through it anyway but that was a thought to just shove it all into a storage unit and then deal with it next spring when it's worth more even potentially just don't even go through them sell them as a whole pallet don't want to do that though because liquids so this one was a little heavier in pool stuff that's general merchandise a little bit there those are both pool things. These are bigger boxes, floaties and whatnot. Uh, I filled two of these up, decent height. Uh, I'm keeping this. It's not much ball wrap, but I'll use it. Uh, we got a lot of these markers. Uh, I've been finding these in all the pallets. Good for probably about a buck each. Dry erase markers aren't cheap. I was tossing them in. You can see I don't have the greatest of aim. Uh, but I also added more to these other boxes. So we went through this one. This one had some, uh, I already showed you some of the uh, bath related items in there. It had some decent stuff. No cacti or pineapples in this one though. So you kind of see what I'm doing here. I'm trying to stack them triple up. But I'm thinking about it. I'm not able to really reach in here very easily. By the way, this one is empty and this one's just about empty. It's just that box. That's why it looks like there's so much more. I feel like it's better to do that. It'll be much easier to get the stuff off. So that's what I'm probably gonna do. Um, I'm thinking I might fill one of these with those foam flip-flops because though that's not gonna be too difficult for me and one other person to lift off. Um, oh, a couple of these items were in there too, I tossed them here. I think that's probably the way to go. But, uh, we got some neat stuff in here. Oh, that one looks like it's, uh, about to explode. I'm excited to, uh, see how much I make on this stuff. So it's getting pretty late. Uh, it is Monday evening. Uh, what time is it? 5.52, I usually leave around six. So good timing. So I'm gonna call it here. I'm gonna, I have tomorrow, which is Tuesday. I have Wednesday to get this place cleared out. Thursday, we've got 38 pallets coming. I, I still don't know how I'm gonna manage that, but that's the plan. That is indeed the plan.